Question 9. Here is part of the bus timetable from Riverdale to Mott Haven. How many minutes does it take the 1031 bus from Riverdale to reach Mott Haven? Now the important thing to remember here is that each column is a different bus. So this column is bus number 1, this column is bus number 2, this column is bus number 3, and this column is bus number 4. They've got to be different buses, because if they weren't different buses, it wouldn't make sense. Because if you're on bus number 2 at 10.38 in Fordham, how can that same bus then go back in time to Riverdale at 10.31? It doesn't make sense. So we've got four different buses. Bus 1, bus 2, bus 3, bus 4. And the buses can't be in two different places at the same time. So they've got each column a different bus. So, how many minutes does it take the 1031 bus from Riverdale to reach Mott Haven? Now you need to decide which of the four buses you're on. Well, the 1031 bus is to send you straight away to bus number three. So we should be looking at this column, the 1031 bus. And we're trying to go from Riverdale, which is 1031 when it leaves Riverdale, down to Mott Haven, which is down here, 1117. So how many minutes is it from 10.31 to 11.17? Now if we do a little timeline, so 10.31 to 11.17, well obviously between 10.31 and 11.17 you pass 11 o'clock. So what we'll do is we'll do a timeline and we'll do it in two separate stages, 10.31 to 11 o'clock and then 11 o'clock to 11.17. Well, 11 o'clock to 11.17, that's easy, that's just 17 minutes. And 10.31 to 11 o'clock, well, remember, to go up to the next hour, you need 60 minutes. So from 31 up to the nearest start next hour, which is, would be 60 minutes, you would need an extra 29 minutes. Because 31 plus 29 is 60. So we've basically got, for the total journey, we've got 29 minutes plus 17 minutes which will just work out up here, 29 plus 17. 9 plus 7 is 16, put 6 in character 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So the correct answer is 46 minutes. Scroll down look what we're going to do next. Mr Evans is at Fordham at 10.30. What's the earliest time he can reach Tremont on the bus? So he's at Fordham at 10.30. So let's figure out which bus he's on. So Fordham is on this row here. Now, if he doesn't get there till 10.30, then he can't get on bus number one because that leaves at 10.28. So he's too late for bus number one. So bus number one is out of the question. But if he's there at 10.30, he's there just before 10.38. So he could actually get there, he's there 8 minutes before the bus number 2 leaves at 10.38. So he could get on bus number 2, this leaves at 10.54, which is also after 10.30, so he could get on bus number 3, and this leaves at 11 minutes past 11, so he could get on bus number 4, so he could actually get on any of these three buses. But the trick to this question is it says what's the earliest time he can reach Tremont on the bus. So he's not going to get on bus number three or four because these buses reach Tremont later. He wants to get there earlier, so he's going to get on the earliest bus he can. The earliest bus he can get on is bus number two at 10.38. So if he gets on Fordham at 10.38, the 10.38 bus gets into Tremont at 10.44. And that is the time that we're looking for, 10.44. Because he, he can't get on bus number one because he's missed it because that left Fordham at 10.28 and he's not going to get on bus number 3 or 4 because if he wants to get to Tremont as early as he can he's going to get on the Fordham bus at 10.38 which gets to Tremont at 10.44 so there's your two answers 46 minutes from Riverdale to Mott Haven on the 10.31 bus and the earliest time he can reach Tremont is if he gets on bus number two at 10.30 and he will get there at 10.44.